Hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling. And this is video part 5 of the 1700 Indianapolis model build by Tamiya. And in this video, we're up to the weathering portion. And this, if turns out as planned, should be the final video of this build series. So let's have a look at our dip that's ready to be worked on. Um, I've got a clear gloss coat across the whole thing. I put a couple of nice thick layers on there. Um, that should help with uh, any panel line washes and, and so forth. Um, the only decal that went on this ship was the number on the front here. You should be able to see there. One on each side. And uh, that's it. And of course, I won't leave it gloss like this after the weathering. I'll put a final um, black gloss coat at the end when I've completed this. So for anyone who may be just coming into this video for the first time, I'd recommend going back to the playlist to the beginning and you can watch the unboxing to get an idea of what's included in this kit and uh, and then watch the series from the start right through if you like. Um, particularly useful if you intend on buying this model and building it. You can get a few tips of what you might come across and maybe there's a few ideas that I've given to... Um, that you that you could use in your own build um, or if you're in the middle of process this is what I do when I watch these videos of other people's builds is I look at um, uh, something that I'm interested in building and it's a good way to see what sort of issues I might encounter ahead of time other people's unique ideas they go oh that's a great idea I might try that yeah it's all about uh, the learning experience and you know, of course, doing your own individual way of doing things, or as a lot of people do, they try to be as authentic as possible. And um, that's that's a way of finding out, other than reference photographs, um, is what other people are doing. So anyway, let's have a look at what we're going to do here. And to start with, I've got some um, Tamiya Weathermaster here for some soot and rust which will be used around some of the more used and dirty areas aboard the ship uh, the snow is probably not going to be of much use <laughs> as i doubt this ship was anywhere where it snowed and ended up with snow on the deck we've also got some weathering mr weathering which is a Mr. Hobby product, Rust, Rust Orange, which I use this on a lot of my ships, and it's really, really good. Really, really looks good. We've also got some matte black. Um, uh, it's a wash, which goes well. Well, multi-black, I should say. So it's not. it's more like a NATO black rather than a deep, dark black. Um, the normal black would be like a panel line wash like this Tamiya one, which uh, a lot of people use. I've also got a MIG um, fine wash here. This is a storm grey, and this will just um, add a few marks and a bit of detail and a bit of, you know, depth to the grey areas of the ship, whether it be streaking marks or just wear and tear it complements goes well with um, rust areas and things like that of course we've got the odorless solvent because a lot of this is all enamel paints so this will be using for thinning and cleaning up as we go and you to do that i use the q-tips cotton buds whichever you call it depending where you're from and we've also got the aircraft which I may do, they're very small, so, you know, how much weathering I can do on that would depend. Uh, of course, the 
they're pretty shiny so they're not going to stay that way but yeah might dirty them up a little bit um put that aside okay so um let's start with uh well i think the best thing would do to be do a bit of a um wash along some of this gray area here see how that can come up we'll be back in a second so what i'm doing first is i'm using some of the mig um, line wash here and this is the uh, what do we got storm gray and what that's doing is it's just making a little bit of discoloration in the paint just like it's just worn from the weather and i'm just adding it across the gray area and then i'm coming back with a cotton bud and just wiping it off ever so slightly just to get the effect i want of a bit of a streaking and just a change in the colors i don't know how well you'll be able to see see that there it's it's just a small subtle effect of course it's small because it's on a 1 700 scale but uh, once that's around the whole entire ship that's going to give this you know let's look like it, it is give it some age that's what it is we're putting some aging that's the aging process here because at the moment it looked like it's just slipped straight out of the dry dock and we want this to look like it's you know been at sea for a few years yeah so that's that area there so i'm pretty much just really just very very lightly putting this on I'm just following it through, you know, just roughly like this. And around these areas up here. Plus. And then what I'll do is I'll come along with Q tip cotton bud i'll call them cotton buds because that's what we call them in australia and just carefully just up and down lightly just to give it a patchy look Yeah. Well, what I may might do is um, just, uh, take a couple of pictures as, as I go and I'll put some photos up as well so you can see the effect that's coming up okay I'll, um, I'm going to continue around everywhere around the whole side of the ship, uh, even doing uh, around the turrets and other parts of the superstructure in here. Um, then uh, what I will also do is in some areas that may get dirtier than others, um, uh, just in very slightly is I'll come up, I'll use another wash i have which is a um, stone gray it's a little bit darker and i'll just to give that you know just every now and then just a few little darker patches where it just maybe just a little bit worn more than others okay so i'll, I'll continue on and we'll come back and have a look back in a second okay so here I'm using the panel line wash on the anti-aircraft guns here. I don't know, hopefully you can see 
it, uh, it just brings out the detail a bit fills in the shadow areas and puts little markings on them so they just pop a little bit more I'm going to go along and do all the guns like that just to darken them a little bit um, and also uh, I'll do a bit of panel line black around the smokestacks and uh, the radars and basically uh, all little things that are on the deck um, also just to bring out a little bit more detail in the turrets as well oh geez I just tipped over my paint <laughs> there we go don't want to... unfortunately okay that's no good we'll be back when I fix this up <laughs> okay welcome back and major disaster uh, narrowly averted um, everything cleaned up fine uh, no paint got where it shouldn't have got and uh, that's a good thing although now I've uh, lost most of the bottle of um, dawn grey I had but there's enough in there to finish this so that's okay too all right so as I was saying panel line I'll be doing a bit of panel line work on the guns around the around everywhere on the ship and um, hopefully not spilling anything again. <laughs> All right, back shortly and we'll have another look at the, at the progress. Okay, welcome back and uh, progressed a little bit more now. I've done all the um, guns for panel wash. They all stand out a little bit now. I've done all the life rafts on the turrets there. I've got a little bit of the panel line washing there. It just makes them pop a little bit more. Guns up the front and the life rafts on the front there. They're all done. Um, I've done a bit more of the grey around the, um, the sides down there. And then... Over the other side I've done all these guns and I'm still going to do a little bit more grey on that side and just working my way around but if you look to compared to I, I've still got to do up on the smoke stack there um, on this side I think it was I've done yeah so I've dirtied that up a little bit uh, made all the um, featured lines and so forth uh, shadow areas stand out a little bit more. Uh, the crane, crane there has a bit of grid work in this in there. Oh, sorry, my hands in the way that wouldn't help. <laughs> so the crane has a bit more detail in it now, showing popping through. Um, same with the radar up top there, the panel line going in there. Uh, so yeah, it's looking looking good taking that shine off a little bit too which is good we're trying to get rid of that brand new freshly painted look uh, it seems to be working <laughs> okay so I'm going to keep on working around and do all the other life rafts and work down the down the other end of the ship okay back shortly okay welcome back again so i've done all the panel line washing i really want to do um covering most of the guns and all the other bits of detail that make them all pop out a little bit and uh it's it's looking a lot better and uh the streaking and marks on the side walls of all the metal are looking really nice happy with that i um not sure what I'm going to do with the deck yet to the blue areas to give that a bit of a worn look holding off on that for the moment um, but what I will do is on this side here I'm going to um, start doing a few little um, rust marks and where the waters would have come off the deck and off different areas of the ship and then along the black water line 
uh, I'll be just really lightly doing a bit of white uh, like salt marks on that but not much just just slight we'll do a bit of a rust mark down where the anchor is and uh, where some of these pipes are and pieces are on the side of the deck and bits corners of the um, where the guns are these posts would lift the lifeboats down these areas will all have little bits of rust and water marks water coming off the deck so, um, yeah and as for the wood deck itself I haven't decided how I'm going to weather that either um, I'd like to weather it just a little bit but not too much I could stain it but I know that that would bring it make it too dark I like the color it is I want it to stay that color but I still want to show some sort of uh, scuff marks around on it but anyway I'll um, We'll come back and have another look after I've worked a bit more around the, the hull area. Back shortly. Okay, welcome back again. So I'm starting on the rust and uh, working on some water and rust streaks. As you can see around the anchor area there, uh, there's a pipe that comes down here. We've got a bit of rust coming out the end there. Um, Go along, there's a few more spots coming from up higher on there. Uh, just a few streaks across, there's a fair bit around this area here. Here, basically, anywhere the water would run off, a bit around the back there. There's actually a gap I never noticed before in the hole. You can see that. And uh, yeah, let's see. So I've turned that into a rust, a rust spot too. Um, I'm also going to do just where there's some piping, but not much uh, up on the deck, because most areas on the deck would be pretty well kept free of rust and painted, probably being more accessible. And. Uh, just little areas underneath the turrets and uh, haven't started this side yet I'll work my way down there as well yeah it's coming along well I'm just going to also remember I've got all the rigging to do yet as well so there's a fair bit to go uh, yeah just I'll get a little bits of spots in there but very very tiny I mean most of the stuff not even noticeable but uh, you look at the whole image of the thing the idea is that it will look like it's not just you know freshly painted and never been in the water <laughs> so okay whoops i'll be back again shortly have a look okay so progressed even further um i don't know how well you can see this come up on the camera but i've done all the blue area of the deck I've sort of put a few scuff marks through there so it doesn't quite look so freshly painted um, done all the panel line wash finished all the rust areas um, yeah that's about as far as I want to go with the weathering I'm going to now um, do the rigging I've got some easy line to use for that and uh, yeah so I'll do some rigging and uh, also did the deck can't tell much but it's definitely a little bit darker There's some stain marks and a few other marks around on the decking so it's not quite as shiny so it looks a bit more aged now um, but yeah, I'll do the rigging and then I'll put the aircraft on. Um, I gave them a bit of a panel line wash too. Not much, but just a little bit. Just to, you know, dirty them up a little bit. Um, but I'll do that after um, I've done the um, rigging. I'll put the planes on. And then we've got two flags to go on the front and back. And that'll be it. Then we'll have a... We'll have a look at the shots, some photographs, and uh, 
a nice view of it uh, completely done. Now for the rigging, I'll be using Easy Line. Let me just grab and show you what that is. Second. Okay, so yeah, Easy Line is my go-to for rigging. Um, definitely good stuff. Easy to use and lasts forever. It's a hundred feet on a roll here. <laughs> it's, yeah. So um, that's what I'll be using for rigging. Okay, we'll be back and have another look. Hello and welcome back. So, finally finished. It is complete. Um, got the uh, flags on the port and stern. Is that right? Front and back. Bow on the bow. Get it right. And stern of the ship. Um, yeah, it's come up really, really nice. Um, the float planes are on. One's up on the catapult there. One's down on the deck. They were the last things I glued on, so they're just still probably drying a little bit. I've done the rigging, at least as much as I want to do. Um, I'll throw some photos up at the end, so you know, watch. You'll see some good photos of it. You'll be able to see a bit better. Um, but yeah, otherwise. Deck's done. Everything's completed. Really happy with this. Um, it was a good build. Um, had no issues with it, really. Um, none that I can remember. It's going to look good up there next to my... I'll probably put it next to the I-400 Japanese submarine or one of my other scale 700 Nimitz or something like that. So, yes, I highly recommend the Tamiya 1700 Indianapolis kit. Uh, really went well together, and, and there's quite a lot of detail there, considering this is straight out of the box. There's no, other than the deck, uh, I didn't get any photo etch uh, railings or anything like that. It's just straight up as is, and I think it looks really good. So, anyway, thank you for if you have followed this series from start to finish. And if you haven't, go back to the beginning and watch it. You might pick up a few things, particularly if you're planning to build this kit. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And um, hit that notifications button so you get notified of uh, my builds and videos as they get uploaded. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this and uh, comment below. Comments are always welcome. If you have any questions or anything you want to know or have any hints or ways I could have done this differently, um, just put it down there in comments. And uh, yeah, that's it. We'll finish it here and uh, I'll throw some photos up, like I said. And um, yeah, I'll, hopefully I'll see you in what's coming up next. Okay, bye for now. Cheers.